Hey guys, Vass from X-Force with Scott from X-Force. Now today we've got the latest of the Gel Blaster AG rifle range from SRC. So we've previously had the revolvers from uh, SRC. So now they finally brought out, this has been an ongoing thing for I think for about a year at least, if not, uh, they've been working on these. So the first of the AG rifles. So the first one we sort of uh, went for was something a little bit different. Uh, long and strong and this is the nylon range. So they do have the metal and this is the full nylon uh, with metal internals. This particular one is called the Mamba and you can see it's got that Viper uh, theme going on uh, with this really cool handguard. I love this handguard. It's like an LVOA. Yeah, LVOA look just without the sort of kind of teethy sort of front. That was the V, that was the LVOA C. No, ah, okay. So, but it's more of a slight futuristic-ish mm. with the lines uh, and key mod. Yep. So, uh, key mark, but you've got your Picatinny rails yeah. uh, up or under. We do have wrap nice. kits anyway for your sides, but yeah. you do have a heap of retail space. So that, you got this nice chunky uh, iron sides, flip up sides, and like I said, full nylon, but you really need to sort of hold it to understand how super duper um, so. solid these nylon these things are like a couple of kilos so they're they're not your everyday nylon gen 8 or j9s or these things are super solid you drop one of these guys on your foot you'll know about it so you do get a really detailed um, user guide on even how to get the spring how to uh, insert battery how to do just about everything um, Warranty disclaimer, parts, you name it. This thing's actually really, really good and it's all English. In English. How good is that? That's awesome. Thanks, uh, SRC. That's uh, really good work. Um, so, all in all, we'll start from here. So, you've got your typical sort of uh, stock. This is a crane stock. Now, the difference with this particular crane stock. You can do the usual, obviously, adjusting and then pulling that down and taking it right off. So you've got to pull it from this end, which you normally push it. Uh, but in this case, there's two little tabs over here. And so you push them in and the back plate actually comes off and your battery is in there. Um, so you don't actually have to take your buffer tube off, which is really cool. Especially if you've got nunchuck batteries and you forget and you pull it. Yeah, so in regards to that, even though, yeah, this is really cool, really easy, makes things uh, a lot simpler. I'm not trying to get that out. These actually are made with the... I'm not going to get that, get to it because it's too far. <laughs> so I'm going to have to take this off anyway. <laughs> this is what I want to show you guys. So it comes with this so it has a, um, um, a, fuse. a fuse so it's actually an adapter so you can take the fuse off uh, but it is advisable that if that's if it's an excellent idea um, but yeah it can make it harder to get to sometimes so normally yeah, once you've got it get it out and always then, be careful with the wiring as well make sure you don't pinch it or yeah. snag it um, and then, once you've got that back on, <laughs> what I'm trying to do, um, all right, so as you can see, it's quite a long um, bit, so getting a battery in there does tend to be up, but because you've got the actual um, crane stock, you do have basically three holes here at the back, so you've got these side panels. Uh, which have the hole. So, what we found the best battery to use with these um, 
not so much your typical black label or your squarish sort of batteries they don't fit that well because of this um, we found the nunchuckers fit really well uh, so your boss light or nunchuckers that we have online they go perfectly in there so you can literally put one in each um, one in each hole all right so hopefully that helps um, if you're you know unsure uh, ask because that's what we're here for we're here to if in doubt yell out with anything yeah to you know to struggle um, to find the, the answers all right so that's our battery covered hopefully that answers that so typically that just opens the dust cover you don't need to pull on it no it's a great deal no uh, no blowback or anything like that so don't get over getting old it's nothing special special you're not starting a lawnmower in other words no. um, you've got your semi full auto okay and that's pretty much it your mag release on this side so your typical mag release these run on the gen 8 mag so pretty much every man and his dog should have these mags uh, in their uh, arsenal by now yeah <laughs> um, and obvious difference like I said this handguard is just a work of art for me I really do like the shapes and the lines and everything about it and I believe don't quote me on that one because I can't get to it but I don't know if the inner the outer barrel is metal um, and you do have a metal inner barrel yeah um, and your typical sort of 14 mil thread on the end so you can take that flash hider off and put whatever suppressor hop-ups and whatever else you're really keen on now obviously we're going to go downstairs and do some shooting with these puppies uh, before we do that though i just got to tell you we have played with it and the guys that know there have been a few people that, online that have come out and said these things shoot hard before you go and buy one just make sure that whatever field you go to if you do attend the regular field um, just keep in mind these are quite a powerful blaster yeah. so if you do maybe get yourself a m90 uh, spring or something quite weak and change the spring if you need to downgrade it so why it's always good to check with local fields mm. and chat to the staff uh, at any gel blaster shop when you're looking at a blaster mm. at least that way you know you're not gonna buy a brand new blaster spend some cash and not be able to use it that's right um, so I know it's a weird one to say but you might might need to downgrade we'll this one. <laughs> yeah, we normally go upgrading, but mm. this is a downgrade blaster, so um, retuning it really. Yeah, uh, it's it's just, I mean, it's it's cool to see that we're getting blasters now hitting some really mm. high numbers and really strong. But um, with fields having those limits, uh, it's just something to to remember. Make All right, I'm gonna get you guys uh, a little bit closer. To have a look it is really well made and very cool and you can see even just uh, I'm bringing you real close here so even the iron sights just yeah look the part a little bit different but I do love all the lines in that hangar it's just it's just a little bit different I don't know Maybe it's just me, but it does look cool. Uh, not your typical M4, I and mean, then you know, get over it after a while. There we go. So I see logo, made in Taiwan, seriously high quality. So you can have your sights up or down, uh, which is quite cool. Full nylon, Gen 8 mags, and that comfy crane stock. Yeah, and even on the crane stock, you've got this bit here with your cheek uh, 
texture. It's a bit textured, so it actually, yeah, it's quite nice. I don't mind. I don't mind the crane. So I know it's not a everybody's cup of tea, but I don't mind the crane stocks. I do like them. But yeah, there it is, the mamba. Let's go shoot it. Hey guys, fast back here at our range with the SRC Black Mamba. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to run some uh, snowballs in this bad boy and I've got my nunchucker boss lipo battery in there so we're going to go with an 11 volt having the full metal gears and all the rest it's going to need plenty of oomph uh, to get it going Alright, so, run a couple down the range and then we'll get that chrono happening Yeah, that thing's purring. Alright, now, gotta remember, it's cool that they're hitting hard, but after around 3.30, accuracy is out the window. These are gels, these are not BBs, guys, so just keep in mind, gels don't do well, um, or not too well after a certain uh, FPS. So. Oh yeah, I think that is some good consistent numbers there. Look at that. Damn. Very nice. I'll shoot you with it if you want. No, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so, um, 380. I mean, we had some 390s in there, um, but we'll call it 380, why not? That is some pretty impressive numbers out of a stock blaster and a non ultra hard gel and, and these are not ultra hard these are super hard mind you i have tried some others but i just found these is work way more consistent and we actually had some um, a few customers come to us and said they run them in all their blasters now and work really well so um great thanks for the feedback guys uh let us know what you guys think but yeah, that is the Black Mamba, and uh, it is pretty impressive, super, super solid, uh, you will not break this. So around the 359 mark, it's an excellent buy, I mean this is literally an upgraded blaster, super solid body, full metal internal, at a pretty decent price. Uh, I mean, you, not quite, quite entry level, but I mean if you're going to get a Gen 8, or a SEMA and do them up, you'll spend a lot more than this um, to get it shooting like this and you'll, you'll still want to have that sort of solid body, so awesome blaster. I am very excited about the SRC stuff, uh, I guess time will tell how they will run on the fields, but out of the box they're very impressive and very cool, very very cool, I am really liking it, uh, very nice blaster. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys found that uh, informative and let us know what you think down below in the comments. Follow, share and I'll see you guys next time with some more good stuff. In the meantime, remember, stop and think, these puppies look pretty uh, badass so chuck them in the bag from to the fields and uh, make sure we all stay safe and we keep playing with these a long long time. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.